morning. Um, it's hello there. How are we doing? It's Sunday the 5th of June. Summer. Lovely day yesterday. It's um, a wee tiny bit windy. What I'm planning on doing today is cycling east as far as I can go hopefully make it to Edinburgh but we'll see how I feel it's got to take a moment to appreciate this little garden that someone's fixed up that looks amazing hoping to make it to Edinburgh but if I don't, I don't. The good thing about this route is it runs parallel with the train line. So, if anything happens, you can bail out. Right. I'll get this camera hooked up to my chest and cycle along Edinburgh Road towards Coatbridge, Airdrie. Cycling into the wind, so it's going to be tough getting there. I'm just to get back on the, on the bike. I'll be flying. I'm aiming to be there for about... between 1 and 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock or later. It's 9 o'clock just now, so that gives me four, 45 hours. I'll tell you straight off the bat, my legs are saying no. So this will be interesting. Take me until about three o'clock to get there. Pretty sure that's just me. That's me just leaving Glasgow. I don't know about here. Some bit this. Coming up to Cold Bridge now. Summer. Since I got this bike in 2016, and I quite enjoy it. I like going through all these wee towns. I 
especially when the roads are a bit quiet. Darling. things I like, like these houses, there are verandas, shops underneath, looks like you've got to go through somebody's garden to get to it. Better nice inside. I don't know if I'd be out there in the morning having a tea, a tea my coffee and a crumpet But uh, there you go yeah, There's some interesting houses uh, Flats and stuff Last year when I came up here that grass hadn't been cut What do we call them? I call them giant daisies but um, I thought it looked amazing to see the windflowers there. Somebody else thought different this year. I don't think people get it, see if you don't put the grass. You get a wee bit of magic, a wee change. This is a climb. Right, this is Edrie Town Centre. Um, I usually go down to the right there, bypass it. I think I'll cut through. Cut through the precinct. Surprised they've not got any Union Jacks up for the Jubilee. I think this is not bad. It's got everything. Set of houses are quite like. Not much more uphill to go. This has been a fight. For me, anyway. Kind of pacing myself. There's another wee set of flats I quite like Probably wouldn't stay there but Still looks good That guy's got a conservatory at the bottom there So that's just over It's been an hour and ten minutes that I've been going Stop and start to do some to film, and um, I've done 13 miles. I'm in pens, vans. I don't know about this place. bikes at each side. I passed by one back there. Here's another one. Planters in it. Looks like it needs a bit of maintenance. I don't know what you mean. I feel like 
feel like there should be banjo music playing. It's still a lot of bit of place with the quality of its its phone box. It's still got a BT sticker on. Oh, is it working? Works. Shelter in there, sitting at your leg. What's the advert there? Oh, well, that's actually probably one of the reasons why it's still there. I've got to say, it should have a defibrilla def <laughs> defibrillator in it. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, but. everywhere. So once you get to the other side of planes this is where I wave goodbye to the to the road and go on this um Off-road cycle route. Goes through a few towns and goes back on the road it's briefly, but this will take me to Bathgate. And you know, it's just so good to get off. Once you get off the road and just away from the noise. This is good. Let's get a shot at that wind and I'll be happy. Running parallel to the railway line means if I get into trouble, triple quadruple puncture, then I can get a train home to Glasgow. Well, here we go. Is this where I become a statistic? So that's a black hill transmitter. You can see that through my window. I've seen it all my life where I've stayed. That beams the proper, I mean the TV, into your um, into your house using the central belt. Fly the drone here, that would take it out. Oh. At least she's got a deal. 
wind. I like that one. I wonder what the footprints are for. I stopped there for a wee bit. Space, it's great. I've not seen too many people. I think a lot of people that were cycling would have done it yesterday. It's a wee bit too windy already. How far have I done? Strava, what's going on? So that's me nearly an hour and 44, an hour and 45 minutes and I've done 20 miles, average speed 12 mile per hour. Wait to see my average when I'm going back maybe. Right, keep going, I'm not even halfway yet. Another five miles and I'll be halfway. So that's going to take me five hours to get here. Thank you very much. These houses are now quite like them. I always thought this would be a bit stodgy. Usually you get about, usually I've got I've had about 40 trains past me so far. I suppose it's a Sunday service and there's a, I think there's still an overtime strike on. Overtime strike! Some noise coming off of that one. I'm going for it today. I suppose the good thing about this route is you're away from it, but you're never too far away from civilization. far away from Bathgate now. They've just had to beat out that small fire. I wonder if that's somebody that walks by smoking and just flicks it in. Or 
bunch of wee rockets <laughs> We have firebug And amongst them I'm actually laughing because I loved matches and setting fires when I was a wee guy Right now I'm next to the road again. I'm um, I'm at Dean's estate, which is um, and I am 32 miles into my cycle. The, my thighs have been popping, like they're ready to cramp up, so that's no good. And um, I've been cycling for two hours and 45 minutes. I've only stopped a couple of times, I think I'll just keep going. Um, I've not been taking liquids on, but I don't even know how, how do I look. I must look absolutely good. But, um, I've just, I knew what I was in for when I kind of started this, so I'll just keep persevering. See how I feel. I'm, do you know what's keeping me going? And I say this in most of my videos. I'm going into a headwind. When I turn around and go back, it's going to be plain sailing. Oh. I don't really get much to say because I'm feeling a bit knackered. But as I say, I'll keep going. All these stream bobbies. battling into a bloody wind This bridge, perfect, slightly steep, but I've passed by this bridge so many times I didn't realise it was first cycling over part of the route. Nice. You've got a cargo bike through there, or a wheelchair, so that takes a bit of the shine away from you. 
Standing here, and all I can do, all I can taste is aviation fuel. Pretty exhaust or whatever it is. Oh, jelly legs. Excellent stuff. Nice masonettes. If you can see it, but that's my first glimpse of the castle. Excuse me. Thank you very much.
bit colder through here, but still a nice day. It's warm in the sun. I'm just going to head down the where the Parliament building is. Sit there for a wee 10 15 minutes, get a break. Just ate something like a tofu scramble with a vegan square sausage on the thickest bread I've ever had in my life. It's me at the Scottish Parliament now. Uh, Parliament buildings just there. I've never been at this bit before, it's usually just around the front. I think that's around this way. Something's happening. That's oh, cool. I've been in Scotland over 20 years. Scotland uh, is very, very warm and welcome country. I'm uh, pretty sure you will be very safe while the whole thing and horrors going on in Baku. <sighs> right now so I will I will it's just uh, I have to thank you for come over here <laughs> Speaker, last but certainly by no means least, I ask you all to gather around for we're going to have a seat with the Bishop, uh, the right Reverend John Armas, Bishop of Edinburgh for the Scottish Episcopal Church, is going to lead us in a prayer. Right, I think I've been in Edinburgh for half an hour, 35, 40 minutes I think. I need to go because it's going to take me a while to get home. But that's me done, 51.
1.5 miles So I'll be doing the same on the way back I feel refreshed, my legs are a wee bit jelly like but I know I'm getting like 15 mile per hour winds taking me back home Hopefully I'll get a few personal records on Strava and, um, So far it's been great But I'm definitely gubbed Definitely This is some hill this is a hill. We call it a false flat. Might be doing too much effort with like this. I end up getting a canyon. Get my honeyhead bail me. Yeah, time to head home. You can just see the fourth bridges in the background there. Well, I can, but you can. Anyway. If you're watching on your phone, you probably can. If you're watching on the TV, you can probably just a bit. I love this bridge. I can't beat cycling on the canal on a warm summer day This feels right I'm heading back but I can't even remember this part Didn't seem right That wind's getting in my face again. I'm absolutely loving this. Towpath at the side of the canal. What a route. This is stunning. Just... Every corner of the tunnel, I just get. It's amazing. So glad I came this way. By mistake, missed my cut off. Cyclists, please dismount and walk over weir. Please give way to others on towpath and want um, them of your approach. I tried to cycle over that. Mm -hmm. Let's just say I nearly did the splits with my my feet clipped in. Could have been a collar bone disaster. Anyway, let's carry on. This port we can. Guessing it's in Broxburn. Okay. 
I've always spotted these from the road. Wanted to get closer. I'm actually wanting to see these guys in the motorbikes rip up and down now. That'll be interesting. Just walk beside me, and if they come now, I'll stop them. They're just protecting their, their babies. <laughs> My battery's running a wee bit flat. Probably got another 10 minutes or something left, so I'm going to wait until I get to the Falkirk Tunnel, and then film through there. This is us coming up to the Falkirk Tunnel. My battery will probably run it. This is... This is amazing. Nearing the end of the video, my battery ran out of the camera, so I could only film a few shots on the way back. The battery on my legs nearly ran out as well. It was an endurance test just to get myself home, so I had a great time uh, cycling through Edinburgh and back. It was such a nice day, apart from being a little bit windy. Um, the other thing is, thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.